Hello, good day, guys. My name is Nick, a regular Forex analyst. I want to use this opportunity to welcome you all to 2023 and wishing you all good health, prosperity. Today, we'll be having our technical analysis on the currency pair, the Australian dollar to the United States dollar first. As usual, we'll be talking about fundamentals before we move right down ahead to technicals, which is purely what we're going to be seeing on the chart. Uh, now, right on the four hours time frame, we have seen that AUSD USD comes under some selling pressure on Thursday, though the downside seems cushioned. This has been looming uh, recession peers cap the optimism in the markets and they undermine the risk sensitive Aussie, while rising bets for smaller Fed rate hikes weigh on the USD and help limit deeper losses for the majors. Now, the AUD USD peer finds decent support near the 0 0.6800 mark and climbs to the top boundary of its daily trading range during the early European session. The pair is currently uh, placed around the 0 0.6830 to 0 0.6835 region, nearly unchanged for the day, uh, still well below the multi-month high, retested on Wednesday. Despite the reopening of the Chinese economy, growing as recession fears keep a lead on any optimism in the markets and act as a headwind for the risk-sensitive Australian dollar. The downside, meanwhile, seems cushioned, at least for the time being, amid a softer tone surrounding the US dollar, which continues to be weighed down by the prospects uh, for smaller rate hikes by the Fed. So in fact, the minutes for the December FOMC monetary policy meeting has been released on Wednesday show that officials unanimously supported raising borrowing costs at a slower pace. This in turn keeps the US Treasury bond yields depressed near a three-week low and is seen undermining the greenback. Traders, however, seem reluctant to place aggressive bets ahead of the US macro data. While towards the US economic docket features the release of the ADP report on private sector employment and the usual weekly initial jobless claims. This along with the US bond yields and the broader risk sentiment will influence the USD dynamics and provide some impetus to the AUD USD peer. The focus, however, will remain on the closely watched US jobs report as scheduled for release on Friday. Now, what to expect from this? We are looking at um, a possible, on the technical aspect, a possible pushback to the upper side, which is at uh, 0 0.69262. And uh, if we had to make have the market move up to that point, 0.69141, and then uh, maybe a retest to the downward side or push up back to the upside. We're looking at nothing less than uh, 40 to 50 pips out of that, which is, of course, good money. So uh, checking this on a four-hour time frame, we are looking at, uh, from this point, uh, 64 pips, and an extension, we're looking at 95 pips, 100 pips, zero about, which, of course, is good money. So that's our technical analysis on today's current CPA. Aussie dollar. Now let's move over to the stock markets. Hello, welcome back, guys. Today we'll be having a look on the stock markets. We'll be having a look at Boeing, and uh, Boeing's delays could give Airbus A380 an active retirement. It looks like an Emirates airline would need most of, if not all, its A380s after all openings and opportunity for investors in an obscure corner of the London stock market. Uh, the Airbus A380 has uh, the white elephant of the skies could be getting a new lease on life among its merits. Unlike the Boeing 775X, it uh, currently exists. Uh, one of the best performing stocks of the year, having more than double in it. It's a tightness company that owned a single asset of one of the Airbus A380 in the Emirates airline fleet. Most of the gains came in July when the Dubai-based carrier agreed to buy the plane for about $25 million pounds, equivalent to about $30 million. Once its uh, lease expired, the deal which closed the week before Christmas massively improved the expected liquidation value of the investment company called Doric. Now, uh, this has exactly had a lot of effect on the Boeing pier. We have seen an upside move and it has been going continuously. Of course, after breaking this most recent resistance point at 196.63, and it's moving for an estimated 210 plus thereabouts. So 
if we were to make an entry to this trade and let the trade run up to that extent, we're looking at nothing less than a 50 to 100 pips there about from that trade, of course, which is good money. So that's our technical analysis on today's stock market. Boeing, I remain your host, Nick. Bye for now.